guys, it's me. Today I've got a really fun um, high intensity interval training workout for you. I'm hoping that it really gets your heart pumping and hopefully does not upset your downstairs neighbors. If you have any, you might wanna start baking them cookies right now to take to them after you do this workout because there is a lot of jumping involved. Um, I just wanna say a little something about the coronavirus going around. Of course, this is a really scary time for us as a nation and of course the whole world um, as we're dealing with this global pandemic. I just wanna express my um, gratitude to all the healthcare workers out there that are doing their part to contain this virus and treat those that are ill. I also wanna tell everyone at home to stay home, really socially socially distancing yourself is going to help prevent the spread of disease and keep you safe. Um, so with that being said, doing a workout at home is a great way to stay away from others and hopefully the sound of my voice will help you um, remember what people are like. <laughs> I know that I need to remember sometimes too. I'm going a little bit stir crazy here. Um, so with that being said, let's just go ahead and get started. Like I said, this is going to be a hit workout. So if you did my um, hit side, hit pool side workout that I posted about a year ago, um, it's going to be very similar to that. It's 10 minutes long. We have 40 seconds of a high intensity move followed by 20 seconds of rest. We've got 10 different moves. So I'm just going to film myself going through one circuit of this. I encourage you to try to do two or maybe even three to really get that heart pumping and um, feel super strong. All right, so I'm gonna start my timer now. Got it all set up. Okay, so we're just gonna start with a, work, uh, a warm up here before we get started on our workout. So I want you to just start with a little jog in place. Sometimes straight out of the gate, running like this may hurt your knees. Um, so if you need to ease into this warm up a little bit more, you can just do some marches. Same motion here, you're actually getting even more um, in the hips, the hip flexors as you're taking your feet higher. So kind of whatever works for you. Like I said, this is going to have a lot of jumping in this workout. So if you already know you're not a jumper or that jumping hurts you, maybe skip this one. I had a request for a hard workout, so here it is. Jumping jacks. I would love it if you try this workout, if you get back to me and tell me how you did on it. Let me know how many rounds you made it through. Let me know how you're doing, staying at home. Or if you are going to work, tell me about what that's like. <laughs> Olive happens to love me being home. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do some squats. I think dogs are truly benefiting from this outbreak, probably the only ones who are benefiting. So they get to stay home, hang out with their humans all day. But let me know what else you're doing. If you're in quarantine or social isolation, what recipes are you making? How do you do your grocery shopping? How are you keeping yourself entertained? I have friends who started knitting. Hopefully I get some mittens out of it or something. I've been trying to read more and play piano more. So let me know how you're taking care of your mental health and staying connected to people during this difficult time. Okay, we only got 20 seconds before we get started. And we're gonna start right out the bat with jumping lunges. These are hard. I put these first so we could get them out of the way. <clears throat> okay. If you don't feel quite warm yet, you can pause the video now and do whatever you need to feel better. If not, 
We're getting into it right now. Jumping lunges. So they're gonna be alternating jumping lunges. Use those hands or those elbows to help drive your knee forward. And again, these are similar to jump squats. They only hurt when you stop. So just keep going. If you can believe it, we're already halfway done. Let's speed it up a little bit here. Whew. Making sure your knee is directly over your ankle in the front. Whew, we're done. All right, shake it out. This next move is a wall sit. Should have told you that from the beginning. <laughs> so make sure you have a wall you can sit up against. This one's gonna get, let your heart rate get down a little bit. So we're gonna come up to the wall and slide down so that our legs are at a 90 degree angle, parallel to the floor. And we're just sitting here. Seems like a nice little break at first. And your legs start to quiver. If you want to make it even more challenging, peel those heels off the ground so that you're just putting your weight onto the balls of your feet. You'll feel some calf action there. Oh yeah. Shoulders are nice and straight up against the wall. More seconds. And come on up. Let's shake it out. We're going down and doing push-ups. So I did my push-up video, the seven minute one yesterday. I am so sore. I'm not as strong as myself from a year ago, I think. <laughs> but I did keep up. I was afraid I wasn't going to. Normal push-ups. Here we go. Of course, you can come down onto your knees if you would like. Really use your breath here. As you push up, blow out. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh my goodness, that was gonna go on forever. I need to turn my heat off. <laughs> Okay, what's next? Oh, we got burpees with a tuck jump. So what just when you thought burpees couldn't get any worse? As you come up, you're gonna tuck jump. So I'll show you the first one. You're back, you're up, you're tuck jumping. Back, up, tuck jump. Try to get your knees up to touch your hands around your waistline, okay? Straddle in, soft. I know it's hard. I'm not really landing that soft. One more. All right, that was really hard. They oh, need too many desserts. Okay, little side lunges now. We're gonna go quickly. So take your legs out pretty wide and we are just going to lunge side to side. Sit in that booty back. Really have your weight in your heels and send your butt to the back. If you'd like, let's reach those arms. Alternating arms. This is a nice move to stretch out those inner thighs. Let your heart rate come down just a little bit. Whew. Okay, bicycles in those abs. Come on down to the mat. Hands are behind and above your ears. Knees are coming up to tabletop. 
and we're alternating. Let's take these at a pretty nice pace, but not so fast that you start flailing. Keep that belly button tucked in, nice and tight, and rotate from your shoulder, not your elbow here. Really feel the obliques work. This one's fun. Bear squat with a push up. So, the bear squat, you're down on the ground and you look like a bear, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what it's called that. But you're going to have your knees directly underneath your hips, raise off those knees. We're going to squat it back, come forward, walk forward, push up. Squat it back, come forward, walk forward, push up. Squat. So you're kind of launching yourself over here. And if you do them right, you should feel all the muscles that you feel when you do a standing squat. Plus, we're doing a push up because apparently I hate myself today. All right. And then we got power jacks. Oh, these are tough. It's basically a jumping jack with a jump squat in between. So we're gonna start, let's start down in a squat position, ready? So you're gonna start down and jump squat up or jump up. It's so you're like a star and then you're coming down. Trying to land light on those feet. You got this. 15 seconds to go. Don't stop. Come on. You're almost there. Three, two, one. Whew. Whew. Yeah, here we go. Little crunches. We got some triceps and some oblique work now. So your hands behind you. Elbows slightly bent here. Knees out together and you're going to crunch it into one side, extend it out, crunch it into the other side. And if this is too hard for you, you don't have to fully extend your knees. You get a little bit of work in your triceps as they're holding you up here. You're not really gonna feel that as the major burn though. So trying to draw up your opposite knee to your opposite shoulder here. Oh yeah. Okay. One more thing, just a plank. Normal plank, no gimmicks, nothing crazy. I want you to really focus here on the stillness in your body. We've been moving quick. Now I want you to just feel the stillness. Here we go. You can be on your elbows or up on your hands. I'm gonna do an elbow plank today. Nice straight back. Imagine pulling in at your armpits, kind of squeezing in with that chest, and that's going to add some extra stability as your lats turn on. Kicking back through the heels of your feet. You got this, guys. This is our last exercise. That went fast. Woo! You're done. Awesome. All right. Before you get all happy that you're done, why don't you pause it, go back to the beginning, do this 
another one, maybe two times till you're really feeling a good workout. 